Welcome back, everyone. This weekend, the sun was shining. It was hot. A great time, maybe, <laughs> to be inspired. Do some spring cleaning. Yeah. And you might have just found some things that you're ready to get rid of. Yeah, that's right. So now that it's cold, you can go back inside and get some things done, <laughs> yeah. right? Declutter a little bit. So people living in Wyoming, the city now lending some help to you with a community cleanup day. You can actually drop off just about anything, and most of it is for free. So this awesome opportunity here to talk a little bit more about that. We've got Nicole with us. She is the Wyoming Director of Community and Economic Development. Such a cool way for you coming off of winter. You, you get a lot of crap in your house and you just need to declutter a little bit. It happens, right? Certainly. It definitely does. We are so excited. We have our annual cleanup day. It's yeah. this Saturday, April 22nd mm. from 8 a.m. until 1.30. Make sure you're in line at 1.30. The event does go till 2, but you don't want to wait okay. around. Okay. Uh, it is an opportunity for our residents to get rid of those items you're yeah. talking about. You know, Maybe over the winter you spend some time organizing the basement and now you don't know what to do with it. Bring it to our event. Yeah. Anything? We talking anything, Nicole? Almost anything. Okay. So uh, we can't take household hazardous waste. Okay. Uh, we can't take things like refrigerators, for example. Um, some things have a nominal fee. So for example, mattresses, tube TVs, mm. uh, we have to pay to dispose of those. So there's just a nominal fee. Okay. You can learn all about those items on our website, wyomingmi.gov backslash cleanup. That's amazing. I know we all, we were just talking about this. We have like a drunk drawer, you know, yeah. where just stuff accumulates and piles up. Um, what is it like though every year to see you know people lining up and, and getting all of this because it's also good for just yourself but also the environment to get it all out and in the right place it is great you know last year we had 218 cars come through wow. and 22 tons of trash were taken away wow. so wow. Uh, just a phenomenal opportunity for people to clear out their homes yeah what about clothing or do you ever kind of donate any of these things that are brought to you or how does that work everything that we get goes uh, to be recycled or goes to the trash okay. um, if you wanted to t bring clothes to donate I would recommend that instead you look at some of the opportunities through other foundations throughout Wyoming yeah. to donate. Yeah. Okay. It's definitely great though too because sometimes it takes a while for you to decide what can be recycled, what just thrown away. So sure. you guys are doing all that for us. Um, again, what are the times that that's happening and when can people show up? So it starts at 8 a.m., uh, runs until 2 o'clock. Make sure you're in line by 1.30 and uh, you can learn more on our website. All of our information's there, including a map of how to navigate the site. Awesome. And you do need to be a Wyoming resident. You so. do need to be a Wyoming resident and make sure you bring some form of <laughs> ID to let us know yeah. that you're a Wyoming resident. Great. Tess is a neighbor, but just Wyoming. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so <laughs> much, Nicole. Nicole. We're hoping for good weather for you guys, too. Thank you.